The idea of the F8F Bearcat was to be able to reach high altitudes quickly by maximizing its power to weight ratio. And one way they'd done this was by having foldable wingtips. Now, normally the entire wing would have to be structurally sound in order to withstand high g-forces, but instead, the Bearcat was designed for the wingtips to tear off at g-forces exceeding 7.5. However, it was still capable of flying. In turn, this saved 100 kilos on the overall frame. Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the F8F 1B beer can, as requested by you guys in uh, the last video. Check it out, we've got so many bombers on our team. In fact, we've got four bombers. You know, four bombers is kind of a lot, but at the same time, they give away where the enemy might potentially be. Because if they die, then I get an idea of what might have killed them and where they might be. So, not as bad as I might think it to be. But overall, this plane is a very, very nice one. It has a lot of strengths to it. It's just unfortunate that mine's not fully upgraded. And I'm missing, most specifically, the cannon upgrades, the engine upgrades, and the fuel injection. So the three most important things about on this plane, the three most important modifications, I don't have. So I feel like I can't live up to the full potential of this plane. It's supposed to be a really good climber, really good uh, diver, great top speeds. But uh, anything apart from that... It's just not supposed to do. Like, turn fighting, it's really bad. Uh, it's engine overheats very quickly. Guns jam very quickly. You just gotta work around those. So, because mine's not fully upgraded, I wanna really try to stick around my teammates. And make sure that I don't get into unfavorable situations. But let's try to take on this LA-9 who's, uh, I think, trying to take out my Spitfire down here. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be diving in and out on him. But overall... Armaments, very strong. Four 20mm cannons is amazing on this plane. Just kill stuff so fast. Just gotta be careful that you don't spray too quickly with them or else uh, you really will jam those guns. So let's try and take out this IL-10 really quick because he's heading our direction. Gotta be careful though because he's got some guns that are perfectly capable of knocking me out. Gonna dodge. Not gonna stay in that. Screw that. Of course I want him dead. But at the same time, I don't want to die myself. Let's drop on this LA-7. Right around here. Here he is. Whoa, you gotta dodge me, sir. Come on. Critical on the right aileron. I think he's gonna be going down. Aircraft destroyed. Something just zoomed on behind me. That's the IL-10. Oh, boy. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to fly away. There is literally like four enemies in that direction, so I'm not, I'm not going to engage. I'm going to wait till my teammates catch up, and then I'll think about it. There is that LE9 that's right over there, though. That Spitfire is alive for a long time. He is a hero. I just really want to make sure that I don't go into unfavorable situations, so I really am. I'm not going to go in. That's two on, possibly three on four. Do I go in, guys? Wait, I think... I'm so indecisive! I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> uh, better now than never. I regret it. Actually, that Spitfire is completely dead. And now that's two on two. And pretty soon it's going to be three on two. I was thinking about that LA-9, but if we can clear out these guys real quick, then I can go for the enemy LA-9. I can't use the web here because look at just... Look at my oil and engine. Even if I use it a tiny little fraction, that wartime emergency power. It looks like I am going to be in an emergency. Oh my gosh, that Spitfire crashed. Okay, let's try going for this dude. A little bit of hits. Always nice. I'm going to try going for the LA-9 now. Oh no! Bugger. Bugger all, he needs to keep on turning. And then I can get behind this LA-9, focus him down real quickly. Come on. Good, we got it. I'm just hoping that my Spitfire is still alive. He is. Nice. 
Alright, that dude's dead, and now we can focus down this 185, who's all by himself. I'm just really trying to pick off the easy kills here, stay with my teammates. Going on your own in, in this plane is a really bad idea. When it's not upgraded, that is. Okay, mine's not upgraded, so that's why it's a bad idea. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Very easy, in fact. Wow. But notice how fast he dies! It was just like a small burst into him, and then all of a sudden he's gone. Okay, so there was one enemy over here. I don't know if he was still if he's still alive. It was the LA-9. We kind of lost contact or visual of what was happening with him. So whilst we're climbing, we're going to tone back on the engine a little bit here. Because, well, it saves fuel. <laughs> we're saving the planet, reducing carbon costs or carbon emissions. Nah, but the real reason is because uh, I want to try to cool down my oil and engine a little bit. We can climb at the same time. Uh, Deli, did you kill the LA-9? I'm actually gonna ask him if he's kill it, if he killed the LA-9, because if in that case, then we can- Okay, so we did! Okay, so we're gonna try going elsewhere and finding where the rest of this, uh, these enemies are. Enemy spotted! I just don't have altitude, though! He's here. He's here, alright. Oh my gosh, that AA. That AA, though. I'm just worried if he's gonna engage me directly or if he's gonna come up behind me first off. Ooh, scary. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, he's coming down from behind me. We're gonna have to dive. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And hopefully get uh, teammate support here. What I have to try doing is not turning. Okay, actually, actually I can try to turn. But I was gonna say we can try doing a bow roll of some sorts. Oh my god, this is awful. Barrel roll! Come on, stabilize out! Motherfucker! Okay. Oh god. Whew! They said bravo in the chat. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Oh my god, cheat? What? How was that a cheat? That wasn't cheat. Uh, there's still... Wait, that was the last guy? That was. Oh my... Deary me. But notice how we just used the wartime mercy power a little bit more? And the engine and the oil is straight into the red. I really wonder what this plane is like when, it has, when it's fully upgraded. But definitely a solid plane overall. I like it. I do really like this plane. So, that leaves it to you guys. Rather short video, but that is what RB is. It's all about uh, lots of downtime and... <laughs> The few minutes of actual uptime and action. Uh, but I gotta ask you guys now, what is what are your thoughts and opinions on this plane? And also, what do you want to see in the next video? Feel free to leave your comments in the comment box below. But thank you very much, guys. And until the next one, this is Krebsy. And I'll catch you in the next video.